least potentially. One is with a system in the east that's providing folks with snow, some folks getting rain, other folks getting storms. And then we move westward, and another system is moving into the west. You can see all the clouds associated with it. With this system, we're seeing rain. The mountains here, the Cascades, northern Sierra, expecting snow. But our travel trouble spot takes us back to the east, where we're watching southern Georgia, northern Florida, for the into Missouri, through the Ohio Valley, and all the way into Virginia and West Virginia. And this is just through mid-morning on Sunday. Beyond that time frame, we'll see the snow a bit farther to the north and a bit farther to the east, so that eventually folks in D.C., in Philly, are going to be seeing the wintry weather for you. Again, the flip side of that is the strong and severe storms. That's in the deep south. to move northward. Depending on the exact track of that low, that's going to determine who gets the rain, who gets the snow. So at this point, the exact rain-snow line, a bit uncertain. But some folks are going to see some pretty uh, hefty amounts of snow, we think. So what you'll want to do is keep checking back in with the Weather Channel. We'll continue to fine-tune this forecast as we get closer and closer to this time frame. But suffice it to say that a major winter storm shaping up here is going to be affecting the northeast, we think, still on Tuesday with snow and also some pretty windy conditions, not just in New England, but also to the south around it, maybe D.C. or Norfolk, Baltimore, on into uh, perhaps Cape Hatteras. Then in the southwest, a few showers for you lingering around. That sort of moves eastward for your Wednesday, while the next system moves into the northwest, bringing more rain to the Pacific Northwest. And they st still hanging on to some of these snow showers here through northern New England, but most folks in the eastern half of the country are really going to be pretty quiet. And that includes your Thursday forecast few snow showers and just some generally chilly air overnight. Nothing real unusual for this time of year and that will take us Wednesday and on into Thursday where we may see some milder temperatures along the Gulf Coast by your Thursday. Well, that's it for our weekly planner. It's time now for our weekend outlook and we do have part of the weekend left. What sort of weather can we expect? Well, Sunday, a little cool in the east, 30s and 40s. A few 60s and 70s, even some 80s in southern Florida, but most folks in the east, especially the northeast into the Ohio Valley, are going to be a little chilly, and it's going to be stormy. We're talking about rain and thunderstorms. Not a good time to be outdoors here, and to the north, it's snow for you. We think the heaviest snowfall amounts through mid-morning on Sunday through southern portions of Missouri, but also here maybe in West Virginia, Western Virginia, and on into Tennessee and North Carolina, where we could see half a foot of snow or more. And here are the totals we're expecting in the west.